Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. IEM member Laura Richardson has been very busy the last few years. First, it was a job on the Long Beach City Council. Then she headed over to the state legislature. And now, she's the newest addition to Capitol Hill, representing California's 37th district. It's something I've always wanted to do since I was eight years old. And so coming here, despite the challenges, it's also a dream come true. So I'm, I'm here for the ride and enjoying it. And already, it's been quite a ride. The best analogy I could give is, remember when you were a kid and you'd go to the park and there was that round merry-go-round, and if you were there by yourself, you would push it, and you'd want to push it as, long, as hard as you could because you wanted it to go as long as possible once you got on. But the problem was, if you pushed it so hard, you couldn't get on. So it's kind of like that dynamic where I push the merry-go-round and I'm jumping on, but you want to make sure you're able to get on without crashing and burning at the same point. Crashing and burning doesn't seem likely for Richardson, who is very grounded due to her union upbringing. Raised by a single mother, she knows where she came from and where she's headed. I got braces on my teeth because my mo mother was a member of a union. And so um, I'm very grateful for the fact that uh, we had that as a background because it enabled me uh, to be able to have better opportunities. She hopes these opportunities will lead her to pass legislation to help working America. Richardson says the key to doing that is bringing in and keeping American businesses on U.S. soil. One way to do that is to focus on trade. Forty-five percent of the entire nation's cargo goes through my district. And so more of it is coming in than what's going out. And if we're going to have trade agreements, um, they should be appropriately uh, dealt with in terms of employee uh, laws and benefits. Um, they should deal with the same environmental issues that we have. And by golly, we should actually be benefiting from the trade agreements, which we're not today. Member of Congress or not, Richardson is not giving up her union card. In fact, being assigned to both the Transportation and Science and Technology Committees, she may see her union brothers and sisters quite often, hopefully making a difference for the machinists and all of organized labor. Life is uh, a world of opportunities, and you have to be ready when that door opens. And so uh, evidently the time was now, and so I stepped forward. But when all is said and done, she hopes when you hear the name Laura Richardson, you remember a woman who worked hard for her constituents and the rest of the country. I would want to be known for um, delivering for the people that I represent. That's why we're here. It's been a journey that began with her mother's union card and a set of braces that brought her all the way to Capitol Hill. Because you never know why you might need to smile. <laughs> One issue Congresswoman Richardson plans to emphasize is legislation to strengthen the country's defense industry. She believes those jobs must remain stateside. For more Machinist News, you can log on to GoIAM.org. And as always, thanks for watching.